The next thing to look at is what sort of wacky ideas you could do. Solar panels get bloody hot. Leave it in the sun, full perpendicular sun. Put a nail or a, or a pen or something on it that the shadow falls down. That, that'll make the biggest shadow behind the panel. That'll get the hottest. And then inside it'll get very, very hot. To take this glazing off, put, put an egg on it and watch it go white. Because the temperature inside should be between 100 and 150 Celsius. Before you take the panel apart, put the whole big panel in the sun again and get it hot. And um, trickle some water into these hoses, but don't stand near it, because they will boil out and go glug de glug. I mean, typically it takes between 2 and 10 minutes, depending on the amount of sun, um, the brightness of the sunlight. But I'm talking about a clear sunny day. The next thing you can do is you can wire the pump back up to the PV before you've taken it apart, and you can actually see how the speed varies, and it'll go and all sorts of fancy noises, depending on how bright it is. And you can tilt the PV um, into and out of the sun to get different levels of brightness. Let's just do that now. Away we go. Spitting water all around the place. Um, and there it is going round and round. Let's just stop it. Off it goes again. Here we are, some bits of pipe. Stick them on the motor. Great noise, eh? So here we have the, uh, the the pump. Remember, it's a low voltage PV. We're only talking about maximum 21 volts. Put it in a pot, pot of water, and um, away you go. It pumps. And you can do this with coffee and make espresso. So there are some of the things you can do with the solar twin. Play with the pipes, play with the pumps, cut it apart, do coffee. Um, I hope it's fun. Bye bye from Barry Johnson at Solar Twin. And there it is draining out.